Hey, I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Welcome back to PCM 21. It's career mode. We're on episode 58, and we are at Strata Bianchi. First off, we have some news. Us, the defending Tour de Suisse champions, will not be attending the Tour de Suisse this year. We did not get the invite, which is shocking as defending champions, and considering we only got into like four World Tour races last year as a small continental team, this year as the biggest continental team continental pro that is as the biggest team we don't get the invite they don't want us there they want a world tour team to win apparently uh strata Bianchi is going to be difficult it's going to be a challenge but as much as you look at the profile it's seen as punchy not as uh, what it really is which is a the grapple race and Some therefore we're gonna have uh a scenario that plays out in favor of some punchy guys uh there's a lot of climbing to do along the way though so it's not just about the punchiness at the end though that's what it's going to take to get the win so it's a combination of climbing and uh, being punchy and for us that does absolutely give us a chance with berlikov who unfortunately has a minus two race day condition affecting stamina and resistance and downhill ratings today that sucks that is a bad draw for him but uh we will endure we'll we'll keep on keeping on uh galvez should be the favorite for a day like this as he is our cobble rated guy but instead he's going to be working as a domestique in fact let's go ahead and set him up right away to protect berlikov because we know berlikov will be one leader martin guerrero could be another leader 78 74 73 resistance that's Definitely going to put him in the mix. 78 74 for Narbutas. Rebova 76 75. That's good. Yurcevich 64 77 and a minus two. He should be a leader, but I don't think he'll be a leader like that. Igashin, though, could be. 78 Mountain. Absolutely a contender. So Yurcevich, go ahead and protect Igashin. And then we will go with, uh, let's see, Rebovas. 80 resistance. Love it. Uh, maybe Martin Carrero is going to be protecting Rhea Bovis. All right, so we're into the first climb of the day. You can see we're on the gravel, but we are completely unaffected by it. There's no star rating or anything like that. Uh, it's a real shame that the game has not incorporated that properly. But anyway, uh, we get through the first climb of the day. There are eight riders that have gone clear. Three and a half minutes to a chasing group of three and a further three seconds now. Finally come together, eight riders with a four minute advantage the biggest climb of the day will be the next one that we encounter and i think we've got a good long while before things really start to pick up with this race in the later stages lots of undulation over that final third that constant up down will wear out the pack quite a bit all right i'm expecting the race to pick up here pretty soon so it's a little early for my normal timing on getting water but i want yurcevich working his way forward in fact i wanted him forward by now as we begin this sector but he's still not there yet he has the water but he's got to cover the ground berlikov for this man back besides yurcevich who's uh, chasing to bring that water up and we've got some climbing to do through here once we are done with this task which we are now done i'm gonna go ahead and begin Preparing, as we are seeing Wolfman. a lot of tempo in fact we just saw a split in the field six riders going clear near the front those Watch guys out. working as domestiques so that's not going to be something they continue on with uh, but right now it's seen as front nine so apparently there are attack some riders Emmanuel in that Wolfman. we've already brought it back though uh, but we're seeing attacks on the front classics riders trying to get clear 55k it's it's way too early for that to be effective uh, but we do want to begin countering that. This is one of the harder sectors right here. So this is where we definitely want to be at the front and don't want to slip back because there can and will be some splits through this area. 150, chasing the break, the break, opening the gap. So apparently the, the pace has lifted a bit as we went through the first part of the climb, but then you descend and then go up again. This gravel-wise is a Some decisive moment in the regular the race, but without the gravel, the it just does not have the same impact. Yurcevich starting to struggle. Galvez starting to struggle. Gap back down to 215. 
hey, we're through the hardest sectors from here. This is about pace. And so pace, we need to begin to counter that because we're not quite pushing terribly hard. So we'll go 86. Really Yersevich will be the first one dropping off. Up. He is protecting Riabovis. We'll let Riabovis go solo after that. Gap to the uh, breakaway, which is now you just eight that? riders at one and a half minutes. And it's shrinking. Peloton splits in half down to 70. Yurcevich is going to open a gap, and now it's 65. Now 63. Another punchy section to come. Galvez is going to be the next one to start dropping back. He is protecting Berlikov, so he is going to be one, one we want to replace pretty soon. I think Narbutas is going to take over as soon as Galvez starts to fall off. And we're seeing that happen right now. Go ahead and set him to auto. Narbutas, go ahead and protect Berlikov. Let's see, we're down. blinking red at 86. Those eight riders still clear. Down to a minute. Down to 48. I love that we're in a strong position. Galvez is out, but I still have five guys, four of them, looking pretty dang strong. Martin Guerrero is going to need to gel up with under 30 kilometers left to go in this. 45 chasing those eight. Gap is coming down slowly, but we're not chasing too hard right now. And we don't have much undulation for the next little bit. So I'm going to hang on uh, that big up-down in a little bit. I think that's where I want to use Martin Guerrero's gel. So let him hang out a little bit longer. But a small chase group of 44 is a good thing. And the front group splitting in half. Good thing. Back together, though, for the moment. Okay, we're coming up in that sector pretty soon. So Martin Guerrero gel. Down to 30 seconds. Front group attacking one another, so their their chances are gone. Okay, here's that little quick down, tight turn, and then steep up. So we push through that, and we're seeing an attack now. The current pace is a bit too docile for some riders. Okay, Blood now we're seeing attack, a proper attack, with 16k to go. It's time for us to... Uh, Pair. So Berlikov's the favorite. And then Igashin, I think, with that, yeah, the 78, we want that. Uh, but maybe we want that earlier. No. Now looking at the condition, he is the best suited. Martin Guerrero, where are you? Okay, Martin Guerrero's in a good place, and he's going to start chasing. Our boot us, we're going to get ready. And it's all together at the front, so we are now moving into a strong position with just 50, now 32. Back half splits off. Only 15 kilometers left. Okay, Narbutas is going to take over. Berlikov, not in position, needs to get there. Martin Guerrero set him to auto. Berlikov now getting into position. 13k to go. And we've got a great chance here. Fisher Black, 81. 81 punch for him. 11k to go. Okay, we're going to go over the top soon, so I want Narbutas to stay in position. This is still Peloton. 22 riders. We are splitting this thing off, it looks like, or we will be soon. Narbutas still leading it out, pushing as hard as he can. He's actually split some riders off, despite having no energy. Now it's down to 8.4. Maria Bovis is going to take over in a moment. We're going to hit this high point. Narbutas is going to go on from there a little bit. I think we have another high point coming, and this is where we want Maria Bovis to take over. It's back up to 30 riders, so yeah, we do not want to be sitting up right now. And here comes the attacks. Gogol. Kovi, Fisher Black. Another attack. This time it could Under 6k to go. Away. Coming up on the finish. Down to 23. And down to 3.5k. Riobovis needs to push a little harder. We are set in a strong position here. With a real shot at winning. These guys are all pretty much riding solo. They have no team support. 
2.1k Rehobovus, start your attack. Here's the only cobble section of this thing, and this is going to hurt us a lot as we are just not cobble rated. Into the final kilometer. Berlikov coming on strong late, but he cannot overtake these guys. We're out of red bar. We're going to be, what, 6th and 7th? Gogol, Kovi, Tisfatsian, Fisher Black. We do get 6th and 7th. 6th and 7th is good. 6th, 7th, and 8th, actually. 6th, 7th, 8th. But with no cobble rating for any of those three guys, all three of them as they went into that final climb, that final push, the guys with the cobble ratings were just that much quicker in that last little sector. The only cobble we see this entire race. Good result. Three guys in the top ten. You obviously would, were hoping for more in the final kilometers, but once we reached the literal final kilometer, we were just completely outmatched by the opposition in that situation. We would have needed to be essentially solo to, to win Stratobianchi. But I'll take three guys in the top ten. That's good. Now we've moved forward almost three weeks now with Milan San Remo, our next World Tour race on the calendar, the next race of interest on the calendar. Uh, no sponsor objectives along the way between Strada Bianchi and here. Bianchi was a sponsor objective, top five. We ended up sixth, seventh, and eighth, so we just missed on that. So the sponsor, not terribly happy. Karaman gets into his first race, finally back from injury. Karaman, though, meanwhile, well, he's just come back from injury. His fitness is ridiculously low at just 37%, obviously not doing any training for quite some time. So even though he's only on a minus one race day condition, uh, Karaman, really struggling to get back into position, does finally do so. We're seeing minus sixes and fives pretty much cross board, minus nines stamina resistance. So he will not last long. He is absolutely not going to be a, a factor today. He will be playing the domestic role and nothing more. However, Narbutas plus four, Martin Guerrero plus five, and Igishin plus five. Really, really strong. Igishin objective and fitness peak right now. So he's got a plus three expected, ends up with a plus five. Looking really good there. Berlikov on a minus one affecting stamina resistance will actually be almost a non-factor in this, though I think he'll still end up being, I mean, he's still better than Narbutas other than the resistance part, uh, even with the plus four and the minus one. We go over the top of the big climb of the day. That's behind us. We're fine. Everybody's good to go. Uh, the gap was nearly eight minutes. It's now down to four and a half on the break, and some of the breakaway riders never even got in check they they never caught up there is a front group of three there's two guys in no man's land and we're finally about to bring back one of those two this guy's been out a long 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 time riding solo there's the other one and then just those three riders left away once those guys are brought back in two little punchy sectors here but then it's flat for a long while yet we still have 126k to go Milano san remo is a longevity race your stamina rating matters more in this race than almost any other race we will partake in. The way that it functions, the way it works in the codes, if you have low stamina, you will be fatigued at the end of this one. Even if there isn't pace, you're going to lack yellow bar near the end. You will run out of energy quickly, whether you're protected, whatever the case may be. Three and a half minute gap now to the break and just the three riders left. We are also inside our window to get water for the uh, penultimate time. So Karaman, we're going to send him back to take care of that. Berlikov's race day condition, despite being a very good climber, is the primary reason why I've got him set up in such a way. Though with 100k to go, the pace hasn't been bad. And you can see actually green, which is the you know stamina, that bottom bar up there, still looking really good for everybody. Uh, nobody is looking overly tired at this point. So maybe because of the light pace, the light tempo, and just the one climb to speak of, it, maybe it's going to be okay. It's going to turn out that when we get up to those last two climbs, we're going to be at full strength with guys that are fresh and really all but one in good shape to climb today. And that one is still a good climber, even with all the negatives. He'll, he'll still be a good kind of first option to lead things out. 
I think we could do something pretty pretty special with a stage like this, potentially. Gap now two minutes. Coming up on our final water trip of the day. Not too long from now anyway. I want to get it before we get into all that climbing because it's going to be at a much higher tempo. It's going to be a lot more chaotic and there will be splits in the field. We don't want Karaman to get dropped just because he got water. So let's go ahead and send him now. 63k to go. By the time he gets it, by the time he brings it back up, we'll be in the 50s. Okay, he is on his way. He got it at 60. That's fine. And he's on his way back up. He's going to get in position just before we hit those climbs. That's well timed. 55k to go. Also, I think is close enough along the way that it should be okay. Now, the next thing, though, pick up the pace. 82. Minute 20 on the gap. There's an attack in the group at the front. Okay, we're going to start keeping an eye on fatigue. We're going to start keeping an eye on whether anybody is going to slip back. Edge of town, we're going to get a little climb here. we we'll do the coast road. The right. good so far. Two Virgil. of those little punchy the ones are done. Into the next little on. town. Right along the, the beach, we continue. This one a little bit steeper. Right this one's going to do a little more damage. And we saw a split in the field. No, it's back together. It's yo-yoing. Front group down to 50 seconds. Here we go again. 40k to go. That's the biggest climb of the four. One more coming up soon. Short little punchy one here in just a moment. And then we'll have two big climbs to wrap the race up. Well, not big climbs, but steep climbs. Fairly short, steep climbs. Breakaway is done. Still 170 in the peloton. And now, now we want to go strong. Stay in position as we go into this next climb. 30k to go. You can absolutely get knocked out of contention here, but you can't necessarily go and win not on a day like this anyway goes onto the attack we are blinking red at the 85 mark let's go 87 Karaman for this forward he's looking good comparatively halfway up the climb lots of tempo this is putting a massive hurting into the legs of lots of riders but you can see Berlikov going strong Karaman slips back but we're okay my guys are still fresh as we're going to go over the top and nobody appears to be getting dropped. Huge descent coming. Very short, very steep, and we're going to start recovering position. And while that took a bit out of the legs of everybody, I'm guessing others pushed a lot harder. And because of our nice starting position, we are okay right now to recover, uh, to get back in place and, and push on with 17k to go. Speaking of, with 17k to go, we want to get on with our program. And Martin Guerrero, he won 78. Probably the guy I want to go for, but Igishin, put him on the back of that. I think you want Berlikov here, and then Narbutas. There's Svich. Salisabiel and Karaman. Karaman's going to take over right away. We want him to push a little bit hard to make sure these guys don't slide back too far. Actually, I want you out front, so go ahead, keep pushing. 90s. 90s okay. It's weird to have Berlikov this high, this high up the order, but it is what it is today. And gel for Gonzalez Alviel. He's going to take over relatively soon. Raman does get out front. Gonzalez Albiol lost his wheel. Now we emerge out. In order. Fully at the front as we prepare for the final climb to come. Next gel. And the gel after. Get those guys ready. Raman gets us through the flat section. On to Gonzalez Albiol. Just before we begin the climb. And just as we go under the 10k banner. Gonzalez Albiol, 
Got to push from here. I mean, this is this is full puncher territory. He is not a puncher though, so full 99 for you. The teammates of the main sprinters are not handing out tickets for a breakaway, so the stage will end up in a mass sprint. Yersevich. He is a puncher. He is going to give us a good turn of pace here. It's going to do some damage to his teammates behind him, but with just 7k to go, we are already approaching the top. Yersevich done. On to Narbutas. Other teams, other riders coming along with 6k to go now. Acceleration by Pitcock. Okay, let's see. Where is Yersevich? Slide in behind Narbutas, please. Uh, sprinter. Do I have a sprinter in this group? Martin Guerrero and Igishin. Okay, so we're in the right order. Four and a half K. Third wheel. Oh, Our Butas needs to be sprinting at this point. Uh, Yersevich, what's going on, buddy? Yersevich needs to be going full gas. You got four riders going clear with Narbutas chasing. What the heck happened with uh, Yersevich? On to Berlikov, 1.3k. We've got our lead out, but Yersevich completely screwed his teammates over. Tom Pidcock's going to end up winning. Yersevich was right there on his wheel. Well, let me take that back. Uh, Narbutas was right on his wheel, Pitcock. And then Yersevich lost the wheel of Narbutas, and that cost us so much. So much. Uh, that result should have been so much better. We get 8th, we get 9th, we get 11th, we get 13th, and 16th. That's an okay result. I mean... We get multiple top 10s at World Tour level. I was hoping for more than that, though. I, mean, I was really hoping more. We were well poised as we went over the top, and Yursevich just joined the line right where he was, and then all of a sudden was five bike lengths back. What the heck happened? Did he uh, have a little wiggle? It is raining. Have a wiggle, but save it. Lost six bike lengths and split the road and, and gave the win to Pidcock that way. So we have a few more World Tour races coming soon. I've had no level ups since the start of the year, at least not among the top half of the team. Uh, current evaluation is pretty decent. Of course, June's always a good time for us, but as, as we get bigger and bigger and bigger, those performances at the national level just matter less and less. They... Uh, they become less relevant as you become a big team. They don't care about that. Those are kind of standard things that teams come to expect that you're going to get. Uh, but in terms of results, this is where the team sits as of right now. Uh, amazingly, Drizners is on top of the rankings at the World Tour. We have not had anything too great. Igishin, Berlikov, both up there with some points. Uh, at the continental level, though, it's it's Berlikov comfortably ahead on top of Rafael Maika. Super Prestige, he is second. So we have had a very good start to our season that Berlikov is the second highest ranked rider in the Super Prestige. Victories, six already to his name. As a team, we are 10th in the World Tour rankings despite missing quite a few of those races, but we're very much the highest Continental Pro team. In the Continental Pro, uh, in the Continental rankings, we are not on top. We are only third. However, I have quick simmed majority of the Continental races. So the ones we've been involved in, we've gotten results. The ones I haven't been in, involved in, the results haven't been coming. So hence the, uh, the, the control part. What you control matters. In the Super Prestige, though, the one that matters, I think, overall, we are sitting sixth. That's a good spot to be, as we are still a Continental Pro team, not yet in the World Tour, not yet widely developed. We're a GC team, kind of a punchy team, but not much else. So until we develop a little bit more in some other areas, it is what it is in those regards. Turkish Airlines, Lotus Hidal, 
The Continental team all the way up in 16th. Good on them. Uh, Victory-wise, we've had six. It's all Burlikov so far. It's been all, all Burlikov so far. But we are having a good season up to this point. Late March. I'd like to see some development, though. Where is the development? We haven't seen any since the start of the season, like I said, in our top half. So we've got a ways to go there yet. I'm a Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.